Okay, we're back with uh, our social media advertising specialist, Sam Buckley. Hi, Sam. Hey there, Greg. In this, the third video, um, we've you've shown how to um, the best way to boost a post, and you've in the second video you showed how to create a look-alike audience from an existing database of clients. What are you going to do in this one? Okay, so this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use that lookalike audience we've created to boost a post to those guys. So we're going to do that inside Ads Manager because you can't do that straight from your page like I showed you in the first video. So this is going to create more targeted traffic being sent to that boosted post than the way we showed you initially. And, and, and just to recap, what's the uh, advantage of using a lookalike audience? What is a lookalike audience? Okay, the lookalike audience, for those who haven't seen the previous videos, is when you upload a list of your database, so people who are already your customers, and then Facebook looks for people that use Facebook that have the same similarities as your customers. So it could be their age, their gender, the things they're interested in, where they live. It has heaps of data all sorts of different data. So it will collect everything it can and find people that are the most similar to your current clients. So within, like, within a certain a geographical area, for example. Yeah, so pick Australia, for instance. And, um, and then you can use that audience to send your ads to, so they're more likely to convert than people who aren't like your current clients. Okay, take us through how to do it. Alrighty, so I'll just share my screen. Okay, for this example that we're doing today, we're just going to use a post on Worldwide Salon Marketing's Facebook page. So it's not going to look exactly like any of your posts because um, Greg's not a salon owner. So we're going to use this one here. So I'm going to go into Ads Manager. Where do, where do people find Ads Manager on their, their Facebook um, page, their business okay. page? Now, my... Facebook has done something weird with mine, so I actually can't sort of show you exactly um, because mine doesn't work, unfortunately, but um, it's somehow disconnected my personal ad account from my Facebook page and it can't give me a new one. So, But basically, if you go to your personal page... It's on the left-hand side somewhere, isn't it? And you click on here, the little arrow. Yep. And you go down to create ads. Now okay. that will come up with an error if I click on that, so I'm not going to. All right. So let's assume that you've you've got your own ads manager. So yep, yeah, you click on there and ads manager will come up. So now I'm just going to go to ads manager a different way. So just ignore me for a minute. Okay, and we're in. So what we need to do, it's a three-step process in Ads Manager. Um, so basically there's a campaign level, an ad set level, and the ads level. So the campaign level is where you decide whether you want to optimize for conversions or for clicks, um, and what your, basically what, your, um, what you want the result to be for your ads. And then the next one is your ad set level. And on, so you'll see the three tabs across here. The ad set level is where you enter the details about your how much money you want to spend on your ad and what your targeting options are. So that's where we'll upload that lookalike audience. We'll use a lookalike audience in there. Okay. And then the ad, the ad level, the third one, that's where you create your ad. Okay, so let's go through the process. Yep, so we'll go to step one. So we create campaign. And so it's just a button right here. Now for today's um, video, what we want to do is we're going to do, this is where you would pick the campaign objective that I mentioned before on that first level. So we're going to go for traffic. Which means traffic to a website. Yes. Okay. So there's a, few, a bunch of different options here, but the main ones you would use would be conversions or traffic generally. Um, engagement if you want more people to engage on your particular Facebook post. So we're going to go for traffic because we want to send people to a web page. And then we'll give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one 
piece of traffic for the sake of this. You might want to call it um, Pamper Package Offer or something like that. Then give it the name of what you're working on, what the ad's going to be about. And then we'll hit continue. And now if you see at the top here, create new ad set. So that's what we're going to do next. So we would call this something, I'll test traffic in here again. Um, you might put the name of your offer and then you would put in the lookalike audience. So you know that it's ad sets going to people that look like your customers. So here we want to choose traffic, choose where to drive the traffic. So we're going to say website. And then here we go down and this is where we put the audience in. So here you'll see custom audiences and that is where you put your lookalike audience. So we showed you in the last video how to create that lookalike audience. So now we're just going to pick it from the list. So if you click in here, it will give us the list of audiences. So we're going to pick this one here for the sake of this. So this is a lookalike audience of people worldwide for Greg's particular business. And it will automatically put in here people who live in whichever areas that you've picked for that lookalike audience. So these are the different countries we picked for this one. And you can narrow that down to really small geographical areas, can't you? Yes, you can. So you might want to make that... Um, a suburb, for example. Yeah, you might want to make it within 5Ks of Brighton or something like that. Yeah. For your particular audience. So because it's a lookalike audience, you don't want to touch anything else here. You don't want to change age and gender and all that stuff because Facebook's done all that hard work for you already. You don't have to guess that stuff. So we won't touch the age or the gender or the languages. We won't put any detailed targeting in here. Um, I know some people would be tempted to put in beauty or hair or whatever, but just leave that alone because Facebook's done will do a better job than you'll ever do with picking people, the right kind of people, once you've uploaded your list. And the next part in here is your placement. So what I recommend is to start off until you get an ad that is converting for you, I would only use the Facebook feed. So anything else that's listed in the, all these other platforms, I would just turn them all off. Just tick the one you want. That's right, well, yeah. Generally a lot will be ticked, so you untick everything. And you'll see here in grey there that Facebook feed is ticked, so that's the only one we want for now. Now if we scroll down a bit further, it shows up your budget here. So you can go daily or lifetime. I tend to go daily, so there's a certain amount spent each day rather than Facebook trying to spend the whole lot in one really fast go on you. So let's just make it $5 to get you started. It's good to start off low and test out, and then once you've got something that works to increase your ad spend. So I would start there and just run ad set continually starting today and then just turn it off when you want to turn it off down the track. So we're going to optimize for ad delivery. So we're going to pick landing page views from here because we want to send people to a landing page. Mm -hmm. And that's all we're going to touch. So then we're going to hit continue. So now we're up to the ad area. So if you see on the left here, we're up here in the blue, we're up to there, and all these ones have been ticked because we've sorted all those out. So next we're going to have the name. Of the actual ad. Of the actual ad, that's right. Test traffic. One or something. So I'll put here uh, Facebook Yo one. Here you'll choose which um, Facebook page is connected to. I wouldn't worry about Instagram yet either until you've got something that works. Now, where you're looking at identity, for most people there won't be any other choice but their own. That's right, yeah. So if you've just got your salon and you've just got yourself to deal with and you've only got one there anyway. So that makes it nice and easy. 
Now I would suggest doing a single image or a video are the two sort of common ones. Good to get started with a single image to get something that to do your testing with. And then from there, but in this particular one, um, we're going to actually choose a post that's already put on the page. So I'll just have to find where on here it allows you to do this because it's a little bit different to where I'm used to looking. There's a couple of different ways to get into this. So Right, let me do it from here. I hope you use this thing post. There it is up the top here. Mm -hmm. So that's changing this creative bit here, and you can give you the drop down to select your post. So we're going to use this one here, and it will show you straight away what it looks like. And we're done. Now this one particular one actually says here the ads reach might be slightly lower because we've got words on the image here. Facebook doesn't like words on images for advertising as such. It's fine for posts, but if you're wanting to spend money on it, it's best to have very little or none. Um, the way Facebook likes it is if you have no words at all on that image section of the ad, then it will show it to more people than if you've got some text on the image. Okay. Um, so, so even if you've got, even though, you know, the, there's a 20% rule where you should not have any more than 20% text on the image, um, even if you, you're obeying that rule, it will still get less shows over Facebook than one without any text at all. So if you can get away without text, go for that. Um, but that's it. We've, we've picked that now. So we've created the campaign. We've gone through the ad set information, so the traffic and the offer and the audience and the placements and the budget. And now we've picked which ad, uh, which post we want to put up and that's it, we're done. So you just hit confirm and it's done. And then Facebook will review that and say yay or nay to that ad. Yeah, so Facebook will be pending review in your list and then um, Facebook will decide in its own sweet time when it's ready to go. If there's no dramas, it'll happen pretty quickly. Um, I've had ones that have taken a couple of hours and then they've been approved, so it can take a little bit of time sometimes. Um, but yeah, that's how that works. And I might just stop sharing the screen now and I just want to tell you one more thing about that as well. So it's good to always be testing things in your Facebook ads. So if you've done what I've just showed you for instance, um, the, the biggest thing you want to test is your images. So you might want to put more than one ad in that ad set. So we've created one ad. Um, you could go in later and create exactly the same ad but just change out the image in it to see if that will get you better results. And so you can run two or three ads at a time with different images and then check on how many people are clicking on it. That's right, yeah. Et yeah. Yeah. So that's how you do that. Excellent, Sam. Thank you very much. If, uh, if all of that sounds still too um, confusing or you don't have time, uh, Sam can always do it for you. Uh, just call us at the office on uh, 089 443 9327 and uh, we'll help you through it. Thanks very much once again, Sam. No worries, Greg.